I'm looking forward to showing you a new drill that I have come up with. Now when golfers, and this is how I came up with this, when golfers are trying to create this lag, hit from the inside, hold this angle, they constantly leave the face open. And this makes you way worse. Let me get into this drill and honestly, you'll start compressing this golf ball. It will feel phenomenal. Now this channel is powered by you, the viewers. And I've been seeing so many questions like, Alex, how do I compress the ball? How do I square the face? Well, this is exactly how. Now, if you want to get involved in the channel, you're more than welcome to. Simple. Subscribe, make sure you turn on the bell and just put your comment or query down below. No matter how big or how small, my goal is to help you play your best golf. And your question could be answered next day on the channel, so make sure you keep a lookout. So dead easy, all you need for this drill is a golf club. I've got a low lofted iron in my hand here, a six iron, and just placed my seven iron on the ground. But the one on the ground doesn't really matter. Now this is key when you set this up. I find golfers transfer the skills from the drill into the ball quite quickly, but you have to follow this particular process. So I'm gonna imagine I'm actually gonna be hitting a six iron shot. Now, look at this on player cam. I've addressed the end of this club and the white bit at the end of my grip would then translate to my six iron ball position. That is really important. We don't want it all the way back here. It's pointless, you're not trading the right skill and you don't want it all the way up where driver is. We want the exact ball position you're going to have. We're going to address it, okay? Just imagine the golf club is sitting flush up against the front of that club. Now, many golfers don't understand this. If we want forward shuffling, which is our hands ahead of the golf ball, we can't just simply push our hands forwards, okay? That's what a lot of people misunderstand. Now look at that from player cam. If you do that, the face is gonna be ridiculously open and that's meaning really bad shots, really weak shots, okay? What you have to have is this element. Now this will drill, will get you doing this automatically. Look how I'm pushing my hands ahead, but I'm bowing that lead wrist. I'm sort of feeling my knuckles are working away from the middle of my wrist. That would be just simply that motion. Now this drill gets you to do it automatically. So we've got our setup, we understand the principles of what we're trying to do. So I mentioned the story of this drill came because a lot of my students were holding this angle, getting stuck, coming in and leaving that face open. Now, if you look at this now, look at this closely, if I do what my students were doing, look where my club face comes. I can't really move the golf club, I just push it out to the right. Now the whole idea of this drill is that we push this golf club all the way down target as best we can. Because that way we're putting pressure down in the right area. So what I want you to do, again, start with that ball position, address this, stand and work your club to the top, work through all the correct positions slowly, and try and get that club face to come back square, where the whole of the leading edge and the golf club is up against the golf club. So if you pushed it through, you could push it a long way. See, I mean, I put hardly any force in that and it flung off that face. Now imagine you did that at speed and got that all right. That is why your shots will feel phenomenal. Now let me just run through that process again. And this is the bit where I'd go, right, concentrate here, guys, copy this. So the whole entire, I guess, objective of the drill is just for simply for you to understand how the club face works, how your wrists work and how your body work. But the reason why it starts to happen automatically is because you've got an external focus. Our brain, and this is what I'm convinced golf's really hard, likes to work in straight lines, doesn't it? If we see train tracks, that's dead easy to understand. We work in right angles. With the golf club there, that is creating a right angle between the face, imagine this is the golf club, and the leading edge. That same process is what happens when you hit the ball, it's just easier for our brain to compute. So. Again, watch me here, and it might take you three or four times, and it did for a few of my students where it was a little bit open, then it got closer to square, then they went a little bit too far. Just take your time with it. You will get it right over time. Just make some reps. So I'm standing here. I'm working that club up to the top. I'm starting to work down. I start to square that face now to where I get it back in that position, and then just push it through. The push drill is one of my favorites. So into these shots now, I'm gonna hit just a couple away for you. Work with the same ideas. 
what feelings, and I will ask you to write them down, what feelings did you get? I got this, this. Now watch this shot here. It's exciting, tough club, cold day. Just look how phenomenal that is. Middle of the green, all day long. This is what you want to be doing on par threes. Par threes are a huge, I say this, a huge marker for how good your ball striking is because you want to be able to stand here and hit more par threes because the quickest way to you lower your scores. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, use that drill. Start working out how it works for you in the downswing.